Well, there's plenty to do in the Tarthra area, but I thought I'd touch base with the old historic stuff at the Tarthra Wolf Museum. Let's go and check it out. Alan, thanks for having us here today. Where did the museum kick off? Oh, in 1962, by the name of Daniel Gowing. And he was riding back to Sydney and he crossed the beautiful Gillette Plains and decided that that's where he would uh, buy in. The only way to get produce in and out of here once he set up his farm was by water because there's no roads and no roads, or the roads were very poor. His first little venture was over at Kainini Bay where he had to double handle from wagon to barge to steamer but that wasn't successful for him on handling so he looked hunted around and he found this site here. A fair bit of history in town, oh, isn't there? beautiful. Have you got a favourite exhibit? Well, it's hard to tell, but I guess this is one of them. This is one of our latest exhibits. If you look here, you'll see that uh, Paddy and his son did a lot of work here. He must be pretty tired. How long has he been standing there like that for? <laughs> well, that's not Paddy. That's our nearest one. Well, you get a volunteer in every day, do you? <laughs> Keep them fresh. <laughs> not my turn today. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I'm not going to have a poke around if that's all right. Yeah. Here at the Tarthra Wharf in the Pig and Whistle Fleet uh, Exhibition Rooms, Museum, um, I'm drawn to the uh, model of the Illawarra here. And you can see why. It's a paddle steamer. And I've had a lot of association with paddle steamers, but on the Murray, not these seagoing ones like this. Still a very attractive model. One of the things I absolutely love about coming to these small towns is they've always got a museum, you know, and they, they've, they've got their local volunteers working there, and you will never find anyone more passionate than those local volunteers. And you're one of the volunteers here. What's your favourite part about the wharf? For me, it's about the story of the wharf being saved. And I just think it's such an amazing story that the community can band you together and have such success. And it's such a special icon. And everyone who comes to Tarthra comes to see the wharf. I think one of the other cool things about the museum is its location. It's on a wharf. So when you're in the museum, every time you walk past a window, you've got this smashing view of this New South Wales coastline, which, in my opinion, is probably one of the prettiest coastlines in Australia. Well, there you go, the Tarthra Wharf Museum. Absolutely worth the visit when you're next in Tarthra. Now, if you want any more information on the Tarthra Wharf Museum or anywhere else we're going on this journey, why don't you subscribe to one of our online magazines? Just go to our website, whatsupdownunder.com.au, click on the magazine tabs, download them, and they're all free, so hook in.